Yeah, what's going on, YouTube? Thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Wally, and today we got some more Eddie Murphy Delirious. Yeah, you ready? Let's go press play on this one. Go to cook. Don't go to cookouts. I hate cookouts, man. Stay away from cookouts and shit. If you like me, you stay the fuck away from cookouts. I don't like my family come by the house. The relatives I ain't seen, like, since the last cookout. <laughs> you got certain relatives you just see at the cookout, and they get on your fucking nerves every year. <laughs> my Uncle Gus come by the house every year. My Uncle Gus is the uncle that like to work the grill and don't let nobody touch the grill when he's around and shit. As soon as he walk in the house, it's like, get away from that grill. You don't know how to start no fire. You don't know how to start no fire. Put this fire out. This ain't no fire, goddamn it. Eddie, Eddie, go over there and give me all that wood. I need half a tree. Chop that tree down over there. Chop down that tree and give me the wood from that tree over there. And Charlie, go give me two gallons of gasoline out of the shed. Give me two gallons of gasoline. You kids roll up your shirt, put that on the grill. We're gonna start a fire. Come on, you wanna eat? You wanna eat? Just shut up there, put that on the fire. Okay, put that wood inside there. Okay, give me the gasoline, Charlie. Hold the match. Well, I tell you, Charlie, throw the match on the gasoline, all right? Well, I tell you, all right, we're gonna make a fire. We're gonna eat it, right? Y'all wanna eat? We're gonna eat now. Here we go. Pour the gasoline on here like this there. We need the whole group. Get that goddamn lighter fluid out of there. Okay. Yeah, we all got that one uncle, but whoever's on the grill, man, listen, they got the same energy right here. Don't front. Here we go. Pour the gasoline on here like this there. We need the whole group. Get that goddamn lighter fluid out of there. Okay, you legit. We're gonna put the whole two gallons of gasoline on this wood and make a fire. We're gonna eat a hamburger, okay? Here we go. Challenge, throw the match. <laughs> now that's a fire. That's a fire. Look at that. Look at that. He be alright. Roll Charlie around. Roll him around in here. <laughs> now Uncle Gus is married to my Aunt Bunny. My Aunt Bunny got a mustache and shit. Hey. You know one of them lady mustaches? It was real cool back when she was 20. She had, you know, ladies had them little thin ones and shit. Then when they get about 45, like on Bunny, they be having the Billy D. Williams look. <laughs> <laughs> shit be thicker than the man's and shit. Now, Aunt Bunny weighed like 300 pounds, like 250, real heavy lady and shit. And the kids were scared of her. You, be, you got that kid logic going. I remember Aunt Bunny come by the house and shit. It was like, I was petrified because she always wanted to kiss me or touch me and some shit. Soon as she walk in the door, it's like, come give your Aunt Bunny a kiss, baby. <laughs> and you go, ah, ah, ah. Your mother say, why don't you want to kiss your Aunt Bunny? Kids don't give a fuck. They go, she got a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Kids move so slow when they be crying. We go, <laughs> Stop making all that noise. <laughs> I said, shut up. <laughs> How many levels of crying does your kid have? <laughs> you be mad because your mother hits you. You be standing there wishing hateful shit on your mother. Ever do that? Be in the bedroom going, <laughs> God, please kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I'm coming to give something to cry about. Huh? <laughs> then my pops would start talking. And my pops would be fucked up every 4th of July, man, every cookout. <sighs> Black men like to claim the house when they're drunk. Men, period, I think, man, like to just claim their house. They want you to know if you're drunk and if they're drunk and you're in their house, that is their house. My father stand up in the middle of the cookout and say, It's my house. <laughs> you know what it is? And if you don't like it, you get the fuck out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I pay the motherfucking bills in this motherfucker. And hey, kiss my ass if you don't like it. That's, that's the number one excuse. Hey, I pay my bills, and you can't say nothing. All right, man. It's all right. We know some people need AA. Yes. Yes, motherfucking yes. But you know what it is? You know what it is? I'm drunk. So what? Beautiful. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. So what? I'm drunk. You know what? I got drunk in my motherfucking kitchen. I, I was drinking out of my glass in my motherfucking house. So fuck it. Then he attacked the whole family, right? He said, Gus, Gus, can I ask a question? Come in. Let me ask a question, Gus. Gus, let me ask you a question. Gus, why is the fire so big? <laughs> why do you make the fire so big, Gus? Look at that shit. It's a motherfucking ridiculous, Gus. The fire's too motherfucking big. Why? You come in here every motherfucking year, Gus, and you burn down my motherfucking backyard. <laughs> 
motherfucking hamburgers in French. I'm not cooking a motherfucking Brontosaurus burger in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm saying that what kind of fire is he setting over here? This ain't the motherfucking Flintstones guts. My house, motherfucker. Look at Charlie standing over there with third degree burns on him. Eating a motherfucking Frank. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No, but you take things too far, Gus. You take things too far. I tell you, go inch, you go three inches. I tell you, go four inches, you go five. Give a nigga rope, you want to be a cowboy, Gus. Why don't you listen? Get that motherfucking dog away from my plate. I'm going to shoot this dog. I'm gonna shoot the mother. Shut up. I'm gonna shoot it. Stop crying. Stop crying, Eddie, because you can get the fuck out. You can get the fuck I know you're seven. I know you're seven. But you'll be a seven year old walking the dog, no house motherfucker. <laughs> how you gonna tell a seven year old this, huh? That's how they turn into a villain. You know what? You know what it is? Because it's mine, motherfucker. I hate this motherfucking dog. Because you ask for the dog, you don't spend time with the dog, Eddie. You don't feed the motherfucker. You don't pet it. You don't even know what the fuck the dog's name is anymore, do you? The dog don't give a fuck. He don't know his name. Me, the dog is three years old. Don't know his name. What's this? Coco. Where the fuck is it going? The dog's stupid because you don't spend time with the motherfucker. And I'm supposed to work hard all day. I come home and feed the motherfucking dog. Fuck no, I'm not feeding the motherfucker. You know what, Eddie? When nobody's home, nobody, nobody's home, you know what I do? I go up to the dog and I kick the motherfucker. Yeah. I kick the motherfucker with everything I got, Eddie. Damn. And then I giggle my motherfucking ass off. <laughs> I hate the motherfucker. Because you don't clean up behind it. <laughs> How you going to tell him he kicks his dog when he's not around? Yeesh. Why can't you clean up the motherfucking? This ain't Scooby Doo, motherfucker. Why can't you clean the dog? The dog shits all over the house. If no one tells you, Eddie, you don't clean the shit. You let the shit stay forever. It shit that been in the den for six months, Eddie. It's been Oof. in the den for six months. Your kids go past it. You act like you don't see it. And unless you're told, you won't clean the shit. The shit is hard as a rock now. It's like motherfucking furniture in there. I went in last week to watch the fights. I said, fuck it. I put my drink on top of it, Eddie. <laughs> the table now. Why can't you clean up shit? My friends come over and say, oh, that's lovely. I said, that's not lovely. It's a piece of shit. Because <laughs> my children don't listen. Then my bunny would fall down the steps almost every year. Ever have a heavy set aunt fall down the steps? Make a whole lot of fucking noise. It's scary, too, because they be calling Jesus on the way down. And aunts don't like to fall straight down the steps like a kid. They be trying to break the fall and hold it and stop the shit. And that just make the fall take a half hour then. Kind of think about it. Now I see why old people fall slow. Because they keep trying to hold on to everything instead of just going straight down. They make it worse sometimes. Real loud, you're like... <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, help me, Lord, please. <laughs> S.O.D. My shoe! <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus Christ, help me. I'm halfway down now. Help me, Lord Jesus. She still ain't make it down the steps? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, 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 Lillian, Lillian, what's wrong, Bunny? I fell down the steps. Oh, Bunny fell down the steps. Bunny fell down the steps. Eddie, go get your aunt Bunny something cool for her head. What happened? Bunny fell down the steps. <laughs> 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 you don't like her anyway. Hey, Charlie! I thought you were walking down the step. I you were walking down the step. Hey, stay getting that slipper. Gus, what the fuck is wrong with your wife? Why can't she walk a flight of steps? You come over every motherfucker year, Gus, <laughs> and you burn down my motherfucker backyard, and your wife rips down the steps. <laughs> Why? I work hard to get my place beautiful. And then the motherfucker come over and rip the steps down. 
Look at the motherfucking steps. They fucked up, Gus. Why can't she walk in steps? You know why your wife can't walk in steps? Because she's a fat, hairy bitch. Hey. That's why. That's why, Gus. He went in. And my children are afraid of your wife. <laughs> and he's afraid of her. He has nightmares about your wife. I went in his room last week, Gus. He was in the bed screaming, crying. Said, oh, help me, help me. I woke up, I shook him, I said, what's wrong? He said, Aunt Bunny is coming to get me. <laughs> he's afraid of your wife because she has a bigger mustache than his father. But you know what it is, Gus? I figured out about your wife. And I'm going to say it. And my wife, I'm gonna, I don't give a fuck what my wife said. She can shut the fuck up. I'm going to tell you something. I figured out about your wife. I know where you met your wife. You told me you met your wife 15 years ago on a motherfucking camping trip and that your wife was Puerto Rican? Your wife ain't no motherfucking Puerto Rican. I thought she was when I first met her, Gus. Because I walk up, I said, hello, it's good to meet you. My name is Vernon. And she said, hello, I'm Bunny. Goonie Google. <laughs> what the fuck does Goonie Google mean, Gus? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that shit is to this day. I thought I learned some new Spanish shit. I went up to my friend and said, hey, Sanchez, Goonie Google. And Sanchez said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I've been walking around for years confused. And I finally figured out about your wife, where you met your wife. You didn't meet your motherfucking wife on no camping trip. Your wife's a Bigfoot, isn't she, Gus? <laughs> your wife's a Bigfoot, head. isn't she? That's why the bitch mustache is so motherfucking thick. But you shaved the bitch down and taught her to speak. I know a motherfucking Bigfoot when I see one. Don't bring a Bigfoot in my home, Gus. With my children, the bitch can't talk. She can't walk a flight of steps. She's not trained well, Gus. She cannot walk steps. I bet she climbed the fuck out of a tree, though, don't she, Gus? <laughs> <laughs> she? But you had to not bring her around here. Fuck her. And your motherfucking children, they're big feet, too. They're half big foot, Gus. The motherfucker is six years old and have afro 17 inches long. Hey. They're little hairy motherfuckers just like their mother. Look at the motherfuckers. You know when I found out they was Bigfoot? When I realized your wife was a Bigfoot when I took your kids fishing last week. I put the motherfuckers in the boat, Gus, and I took the worm and I put it on their hooks, and they both sat there, and they put the poles down in the motherfucking boat and slammed their face in the water for two minutes. And I think, what the fuck are these kids doing? <laughs> then they start moving their head like this, and the motherfuckers come up with fish. <laughs> Jump back and said, can you believe this motherfucking shit? <laughs> and the kid took the fish out of his mouth and looked at his brother and said, Goonie Google. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Normal kids don't do shit like that, Gus. But I'm going to tell you something, motherfucker. You can take your motherfucking hairy, fat-ass, white mustache bitch out the fuck. You could go upstairs and get the motherfucking dog and scoop up the shit and take Eddie and get these motherfucking long Angela Davis afro wearing motherfucking kids of yours and put them in the motherfucking Goonie Google mobile and get the fuck out. And if my wife don't like it, she can get the fuck out too. Jeez. You miss me, bitch. <laughs> nah, Eddie Murphy's a classic comedian. Dope, dope, dope comedian. You gotta give it up to him. So if you like what you saw, make sure you like this video. And if you want, subscribe to it. You understand? It's definitely going to help me and the channel out. I'll see you in the next one.